everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a post review. If you do not know what a post review is, that is when I share all of my thoughts and feelings about a canvas that I have recently completed, the good, the bad, the ugly, um, and I share them with you. Please keep in mind, all opinions stated are my own, um, and things that may be important to me may not be important to you, and vice versa. Um... But yeah, that's what we got going on here. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's be friends. I don't know why I just went one, two, four, but I can count. I promise. Um, if you've been here before, hi, welcome. So this canvas is uh, each tree has a soul. It is 71 by 46 centimeters. So I am actually filming this horizontally. So hopefully that uh, gets more of this in in camera frame for you guys uh let me pull the storage out of the way so let me turn the flash off and zoom you out a little bit so you guys can see it is the rainbow trees the pink the red orange orange yellow green blue and purple absolutely love this canvas this is um each tree has a soul as i mentioned from ola darchuk i hope i said that correctly uh she is a Ukrainian artist that Diamond Art Club has partnered with, and um, she has a couple. There's another one that's very similar to this. If you are watching this in present time, um, this actually just restocked on the Diamond Art Club page. So, uh, as I said, I am filming it sideways because this canvas is not very high, but it's very long in width. Um, let me give you guys some of the stats here. Um, and again, this is what the image looks like. I finished this in 30 hours and 44 minutes over the span of 11 days. It should have been 10 days. I literally had 30 minutes left work. I said to my husband, I have about a half hour of work left to do, but I don't have any energy in me. And then I sat up the next day and 30 minutes on the dot, finished it. Um, as I mentioned, this is a 71 by 46. It is a square canvas. It has... 47 colors, including three ABs. Now, this might be a controversial statement to say here. Um, I don't think this canvas needed any ABs. Um, there were just a few, like you can see a couple here in the yellow. Um, there was some in the pink. I'll go over more of that with you guys. Let me go over the drills while I have them here, and then I'll move them out of the way. Um, I did feel like I was running low on a lot of colors. Um... Like, I really, and I don't think I, I know I'm not picky about trash. I know there's a lot of people out there who are very particular about trash. Um, any misshapen drill I removed, but if it had just like a cosmetic flaw, I wouldn't necessarily uh, remove it. Some of these were like real rough on the top, so when I would rub my hand over, they'd pop up. Those I did get rid of. Uh, let me pull the trash out as I'm talking about it so you guys can see. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, there we go. And again, it is a square drill canvas, so there will be more trash than in a round. But you can see, like, that's not a lot. That's not a whole lot. So if you are somebody who is particularly specific or picky, um, turn the flashback on. Woo. Um, and you can see, like, these have really good shine to them. But because they're square, you have more opportunity if you will for them to have issues um my only real issue um sorry if my audio goes in and out i'm trying to move around um v and y if i have a photo i'll insert it here i think i took one um these are very similar in color um and the symbols on the canvas you had to really focus to pay attention that one was V and one was Y. And they were right next to each other the entire time um, because they're very similar in color. That was really my only issue with drill quality or symbols or anything like that. Um, I did have more than enough to finish. But again, if I was somebody who was super particular, I might not have. Here are the three ABs. This one is 124. It is a pink and again, that was in the pink tree. Um, and then 130 and 135. This is a yellow. And this one is a like lime yellow. Um, 
I like the little pops that it added, but I honestly don't think that, like, it needed it. Um, I had one, two, three of the six trees here had no ABs in them at all. And the ones that did, like, you can see the green. Let me see if I can adjust you guys a little bit. The green had some up here. The yellow had some right here. Like, it wasn't a whole, whole lot, which is fine. Um, and I love, let me zoom you guys back out again. I apologize for the flash. But I love that, don't mind, there's a big bag of trash over there. Whoop, whoa. All right, that just flew right off of my recording arm. Let's get you over here. Uh, you can see, like, the falling leaves and then the reflection in the water. I thought this was really beautifully done. I do love the way this was rendered. Um, and the background was all gray, just different shades of gray. And then you had a couple of, like, the little white wispies if you will um i love how the reflection came out like you can definitely tell like these are just leaves laying on the water uh and then let's see if i get you guys back in frame and then the reflection of the bottom of the tree i loved how this was done uh very very minimal 310 just in the tree trunks um again Beautiful, beautiful canvas. I did this for the DP Holiday in July event hosted by Audra, Diamond Painting Daily, over on Instagram. If you guys have not participated in that event, if she hosts it again next year, I highly recommend. It's a lot of fun. Not only can you paint, uh, work on a painting that is holiday related, um, and I chose this for Arbor Day, um, or also Pride because of the rainbow. Um... She has really cool emoji trivia, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to move this away. I would like to point out that these leftover 310s are not from this canvas, but you can see the colors in this are beautiful. I'm shocked that it had as many colors as it did because it didn't feel like that. It was a nice combination of color blocking. It would be more color blocking confetti. There's lots of chunks of the same color, but then you had little spots here where you're switching your colors up. Um, let me move this out of the way. Um, I love this. Let me get you guys a little closer. Sorry, I'm trying to rearrange some stuff on my desk. So here is the pink. You can see a little bit of the AB right in here. Um, but each tree was done in that same similar vein. And look how it just catches the light. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's zoom you guys back in. Get the light back on. Uh, I loved the rendering as I mentioned I loved the how quickly it worked up for me for it being a square I'm pretty impressed that I was able to do it in that amount of time um I don't really have all that much to say on this one I know that a lot of people when it comes to post reviews uh things that may or may not be like the hard-hitting things for me like I, it could be something that's super important to me and you guys could care less about it and vice versa uh for me i'm one of those people so keep this in mind as i am talking i am not one of those people that needs my lines to be straight i'm not one of those people that is worried because nobody's looking at this up close i might be showing you guys up close but in real life when this is done if it goes on the wall, nobody's going to be an inch away from it. And I know that's a personal preference, but I feel like there's very minimal gapping here. Um, and it is poured glue, so it will tighten over time. Um, but I had no issues with drills popping. I had no issues with anything like that. I just had, you know, regular drill, square drill issues. I don't want to call them issues because it's exactly what it would be like for any square drill. But I think that's it. The sticky was good. The rendering was good. The drill quality was good. I really have no complaints over this. I really enjoyed working on this. Um, and this is about as landscapey as you're going to get from me. I do have one landscape that I bought probably two years ago, and it's still in my stash. Um, but other than that, I think that's all I got for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave me some leaf or tree emoji to let me know you made it all the way to the end. What is the most important thing that you guys look for in when somebody's giving a poster, you like, what is that one thing that will deter you or swing you to make a purchase? Let me know. I'm really curious. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure you give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. While you're there, hit that notification bell. Ding.
My husband's got his earbuds in. Um, I don't operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record when my tiny human is sleeping, or like today, sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys! <laughs>